Scarlett Moffat next. We say hello to her as a former queen of the jungle. Well, she is no stranger to taking on a difficult challenge. The thing is, Scarlett, so this is, this is a new game show on ITV2. Before we talk to you about it, we'll let folks judge for themselves. Here we go. Wow, indeed. Well, 10 o'clock, ITV2 tonight. Scarlett, what will you be doing? What challenge will you get? Oh, do you know what? We all sort of um, chip in together and it was honestly more intense than I'm a Celeb. Like, I honestly thought, like, after I did Gogglebox and I did I'm a Celebrity, I thought, this is the craziest thing I've ever done. Um, and then I did this show. <laughs> so it's called Apocalypse Wow. How would you describe it? <laughs> oh, it's so hard to describe. It's as if we're in this post-apocalyptic world and we have to fight these superhumans. Um, but to be honest with you, I think it's just... It, it's for charity. <laughs> but I think that was an excuse so that somebody at the end can just get whacked with, like, baseball bats and plastic fish. Well, the fact... I saw something that's called the Torture Dome. That should have given you yeah. a bit of a warning. So this is you now. I think that's you. Wrestling in slime. Yes. So was that person a real wrestler? Uh, oh, that was a, a, a yes. shot Interesting a shot. That, isn't it? Yeah, he, um, yeah, so he was a wrestler. I'll be totally honest, when I was first told about the show, it sounded very chilled. <laughs> and, then, and then we entered and this happened, like, but I would do it all over again, because honestly, what a laugh, what a laugh we what had. What a laugh, any injuries? Everybody. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> had injuries. We were all bruised like peaches. Yeah. Now, I read, I read somewhere that one of the games, or I don't know if, or if this is a punishment for losing, I wasn't sure, they become a human piñata. Is that right? Yeah, so I got made team captain, which at the time sounded lovely, but then I had to make the decision who went up at the end of each episode in this human piñata. They were strapped, they couldn't move, and then maybe about 20 feet in the air, it was quite high, and then all of the rest of the people that were in the show would be on 10-foot, um, like, these harness things, and we would jump and whack the human piñata, and poor Bobby Norris, who I love dearly, we thought he was crying, like, you know, playing up to the cameras, and, like, he wasn't, like, he would... And, and now I feel bad because I was laughing while I was Whacking hitting him. him. But, no, I think uh, he was really in pain. He was really hurting. He was really hurting. Yeah. Um, I'm just reading an explanation of the show. The show features goths, wrestlers and gel-filled paddling pools, which we've seen. In one challenge, Bobby, who we talked about there, Bobby Norris from Tommy, leaps like a cat between two stacks of tyres while a bodybuilder called Enormo, I wonder why, uh, tried to decapitate him with a soft play wrecking ball. Um, and in another com uh, contest, Love Island star softly, Chris Hughes has play. to compete in a pole dancing oh, competition. Did you have to do pole dancing, Scarlett? Did you do the pole dancing too? I'll be honest, I, I, you need a lot of upper body strength to do pole dancing. Yeah. Um, to, like, real, like, core muscles, which I don't have because I'm a, a professional couch potato. <laughs> so I just sort of stood on the sidelines and clip my fingers. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're very good at smiling, you're very good at laughing, you're a great entertainer, you're a lovely company to be around. But I was reading over the weekend, there were a number of uh, press interviews with you, and you were talking about how Gogglebox, I mean, totally transformed your life, and then, and then you left it and you were in that situation where you then go on to win I'm a Celebrity as well. So life seemed very successful, but inside you weren't particularly happy. No, and I finally sort of found the courage to to tell people I was lonely. I think there's this massive stigma around admitting that you're lonely because you feel like you failed or, you know, it, you just feel embarrassed, but you should never feel embarrassed about being lonely. And I hope that by me telling people how lonely I was in London, that it, it opens a conversation where people go, actually, yeah, like... I, I'm, I'm not enjoying. I'm not enjoying myself, and that's why I've just been made um, an ambassador for Samaritans, which I'm so thankful for because they do a lot of work around that. And yeah, I was just sort of on my own, and I didn't dare tell my family and friends because I just won the jungle. I'd started doing loads of presenting, and 
I, I felt guilty because I thought, well, I should be on top of the world. I should be, you know, really enjoying myself. But the truth is, like, I'd literally walk my dog um, round Camden just so that, like, in the hope, because it's quite a touristy area, that people would come up and talk to us. Gosh. I mean, it is, you know, you're, you're smiling there about it, but London can be a very lonely place, can't it? Scarlett, I, I tell you, I, I moved from Belfast to Manchester where I felt very, very at home, and then I had to come to London, and I've been in London for 30-odd years. London is not Manchester, it's not Belfast, it's not Leeds, mm. Newcastle, Liverpool. It's, more, it's different, and I don't mean that as any disrespect to London, but like you, I've always felt lonely in London. And it's hard, maybe you have to be from somewhere, somewhere that you call home. Ruth often laughs at me when I talk about home. Home. Well, <laughs> Belfast is yeah, home, no, London is I where you were. But also you mentioned that... No, but I'm your... listening to, I'm just trying to relate to Scarlett here about that. And where you are now, you are back at home, aren't you? Yeah, so I moved back up. I actually moved back up three years ago. Um, but me and my boyfriend, Scott, have just got our own house, which is very exciting. I feel like such an adult. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's Scott. There's Scott. So all's good. You're happy. The trolling, all that trolling you said, you've, you've dealt with that. You've got tools to deal with that. And you mentioned being an ambassador for Samaritans, which is fantastic. Um, so we're really glad everything's going so well for you, Scarlett. Apocalypse Wow. It is quite a show at tonight, 10 o'clock on ITV2. Lovely to see you. S Scarlett, can I ask That's... you another question? Um, yeah, of course. Could, could, would you recommend Ruth enters that if I put her <laughs> name forward? I want, to put uh... her, I want to put her in that pinata thing. <laughs> You're cruel. <laughs> <laughs> he is, but funny. Very good, very good. Thank you very <laughs> nice much, Scarlett. Thank you very much. Thank you. Come on, come on. <laughs> You've been a human pinata. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you'd be the first stop with a you'd, stick, wouldn't you? But you'd break the stick if it hit you. <laughs> that would be it.